Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, I'm Alyssa. I'm, I'm Garrett. <laughs> and we are the Leffersons, and we have a ginormous Bibbity Bobbity box for you today, and this is Garrett's box. It has my name on it. Can you <laughs> it see is, me? It has been so long since you've opened a Bibbity Bobbity. It has. It's been a minute. Are so, you super pumped? Yeah. <laughs> so we are Bibbity brand reps, yes. and if you're not familiar with what Bibbity is, it's an entire company. But this part of the Bibbity brand is the Bibbity boxes. So these are Disney-themed, customizable boxes to your preferences yes but they are mystery but they mm. also have a wish list where you can go in and like select certain items but yes they're all customized to your preferences like very very specific to your preferences and if you're if disney's not your your thing they got star wars they have harry potter they have universal uh like avenger stuff they also have a clothing line and they like sell like disney inspired products now and so it's super cool they're an amazing company yeah. we were going to leave all their information linked down below but if you want to try your very first bibbity box you can use promo code the lepersons and save seven dollars off your very first box and before, that can be for any of them harry potter too mm -hmm. and before we were brand reps we loved bibbity and yes. yeah we like we wanted to work with them and yes. this is by far the biggest box i have ever seen it doesn't even have the design on it it's so large Alyssa sent me a, a text and she's like yo your your bibbity box came and it's huge and she she sent me a picture and i said i'm scared of it scared so pass me some scissors and let's let's dive in here. Let's do this. It's it's big. It's as big as Alyssa. Since we are brand reps, they do send us these boxes for review, and we will leave all of our unboxings linked down below. Our we always leave our playlist linked down below. So that yeah, because this is not the typical <laughs> unboxing uh, like usually experience. the box is like super like beautiful and it has all these Disney icons on it, and this is just like. Like it doesn't even look like the typical box. <laughs> so I'm being, I'm being careful because I don't want to spoil anything. Maybe I should be doing it. Okay. So you, so then you are not spoiled. I gotta take some. I can see you though. Is there a spoiler sheet? Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna show you what's in here. Don't look, Garrett. Okay. So there's the bibbity box, but there's also something outside of the bibbity box. What? That that doesn't uh, fit in the Bibbity box. So let's look at the actual Bibbity okay. box Okay, so this is more like what you would normally get. So this is their traditional Bibbity box and it has the Bibbity castle and all of the wonderful uh, just stuff on it. Uh, so inside of it there should be, if, if yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> now this looks more familiar. So on the inside, they have a little card and it has a little Ewok on there. Yep. And it was packed by Becky. Thank you, Becky. Thanks, Becky. And then each um, box has a spoiler sheet, which is the packing slip. It tells you everything that's inside, so we gotta wait until the end for that. There's a couple different levels to the Bippity boxes. This is the There's ultimate. There's a lot of different levels, there actually. Is. This is the ultimate magic, which retails for... $119. That one. So you'll get at least that much, if not more, in the box, and yeah. it's gonna be, like, legitimate Disney stuff. Yeah. So, I'm gonna rip into this. And they do also do, like, Disney small shops, which is really great. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they also are, like, creating their own Disney-inspired items. And of course, with any subscription box, there's foofies because that's just what it is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad I didn't buy this. So, <laughs> starting off, we have a magic band from the parks. And so, if you're not familiar with Disney and the parks, this is essentially your ticket. This is how you pay for stuff. This is how you get into your hotel room. We love collecting magic bands because we go so often. Mm -hmm. We're pass holders, so we go all the time. And we have a whole collection. But this is a limited release, which means it's only available for a limited amount of time. And it's from the Black Spire Outpost. So, that is actually Star Wars land. And Black Spire outpost is on Batu. So you have uh, the Millennium Falcon with some X-Wings flying along there, Star Wars, and it's like this nice blue color. So that'll be perfect for Hollywood Studios. And blue is your mm -hmm. color. Also, since this is from the actual Disney mm -hmm. Parks, yep. Bibbity puts this little sticker on the back that says a Disney Parks exclusive because they got it straight from the parks. And go. this will be great for you to wear to Hollywood I feel Studios. Like, I feel like it's a good addition. And I it's have your a black color. One. Yeah, and I have a black Star Wars one, don't I? 
You did, uh, no, you have a gray Star Wars one. I have one. a gray Star Wars so one, So his guys. second Star Wars one. All right, so digging deeper in, I it, it is a magnet, I think. Fun. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Is it Thor's hammer? It is Thor's hammer. Oh my gosh. So I'm pretty sure. I just pulled that out of my butt. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything Ferris near me, but I think it is a magnet, and I know where exactly this is going to go. In your office. On the side of my desk, because my <laughs> desk is metal. It says on the back, nmrdist.com. I don't know if that has anything to do with Just it. Just the manufacturer of it. Interesting. This but is yeah, really cool. But yeah, Thor's Hammer. Fun. All right, I'm going to keep digging down, and I have a pin. Ooh. This it's been is... a while since we've got a pin I in know. our box. It's been a minute since we've opened Bippity Box. I know. All right, so this is an open edition from... I would assume Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge, and it's Millennium Falcon Corellian YT-1300 light freighter. So it is the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, and it looks like uh, just Does characters. It open? I don't know. It's a it's a thick old pin. Oh, it's just thick. I thought it was a hinge pin for us. I did for a second, but like Alyssa said, there is a little sticker on the back there that says this is an authentic Disney uh, item. Ooh. What limited edition is it? Oh, it's open edition. It's open edition. I missed that. Whoops. So like Alyssa said, Fun. it is a thick pin and it is kind of a pin on pin design. So if you look real close, you can see how they layered it and you can actually see the studs on the back of how they punched it through. So that's how they're able to kind of give this pin some depth and make yeah, it look it kind like of looks you, like a window. Yeah, almost. it looks like you're looking out of the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. That is cool. Garrett definitely needs more pins in his Star Wars collection. You it's should growing. put like you should put like a Star Wars Harry Potter like pin board Ooh, in your office. I like this. And Star Wars is not my main. I mean, like there, I feel like there's better. I like things better than Star Wars because Star Wars still isn't Disney to me. <laughs> like it's hard to transition. <laughs> I, it's not. It's not part of that universe for me. When I think Disney, I don't think like Star Wars. <laughs> so the last thing in that box is a T-shirt from Stark Industries. Oh, fun, so, like Tony Stark. Hey. He's Captain America, isn't he? Captain Marvel? No, he's not. He's not a captain, he's a Hulk? man. Hulk? He's a man. Iron Man. Woo! Oh, he's Iron Man. He's Iron Man. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that's how much I know. That's Yahtzee. how much I know. <laughs> so it has Stark Industries and it says, changing the world for a better future. So. It is just a plain old black soft tea feel. It is soft. And it's also low key. I mean, yeah. everyone would know this though, I feel like, because, well, except for me, apparently. <laughs> I noticed, like, I know Tony Stark though. I just uh, got mixed up on what exactly he was. There's one more item. Okay. Are you ready for it? I, it, was, it was a red box. It is a red so box. So I'm going to guess that is a. Hold on. Don't look, because I got to. It's flipping massive <laughs> show show the size of the box okay this box face comparison this is That's as how big, as my big head. the box is and it is a gym shore okay i'm gonna have to open it for you yeah you are usually i open goes. the gym shores you're gonna like it and i also like it <laughs> this is like too big for my hand don't look you're the one that tries to cheat. I don't look. You gotta okay. cut the tape. It's already cut. Oh. It's already cut. Are you sure? Yeah, it's, it's already cut. I think it broke. It's already cut over here. Okay. Should I take it out? Yeah, I wanna, Close your I, eyes. I wanna see it in its full, Close your eyes. full just glory of, of carved. Then close your eyes. What are my eyes doing right now? I felt it. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh my, it keeps going. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Because okay. <laughs> so you'd be like, uh, that is Rapunzel. That's obviously like meant for girls, but it has Maximus right there. And he's like one of the best horses in Disney canon. Maximus is in Garrett's preferences also. And, and this was also in your preferences. This Jim Shore was in oh, your preferences. Did you put it in there? I did. <laughs> well, because you said that you liked it and I was editing your preferences. This is called Innocent Ingenue? Hey Siri, what's an ingenue? The ingenue is a stock character in literature. 
film and a role type in the theater, generally a girl or a young woman who is endearingly innocent. I mean, oh, admittedly, her so face pretty. is a, is a little weird, but I can live with it because oh, she's no, got... Oh, no, she's so pretty. Because yeah. she's got Pascal, and look, find someone who looks at you like Maximus looks at Rapunzel, because... They're looking at each other so nicely. And her hair just tumbles down onto the bottom of the base, and he is, he's got the, the carvings all on his flank. I'm not showing it well because I'm still looking at it. <laughs> and it's just so... And Rapunzel's dress with all the details on her dress. Oh, yes. I mean, come on, it's guys. It's so pretty. This is... Oh, this and is it, beautiful. And he has, like, the saddlebags and... So this is part of the Woodlands or the White Woodlands. Okay. Um series of Jim Shores. Like they have like a Belle one and I think a Tiana one. They have a few in this. They're all because they're all like white basically. Oh, Isn't that so cool? So cool. I was super excited for him to get it too. <laughs> did you know I was getting it? Like, did no, I didn't you? know that you okay. were getting it, but I put it in your preferences hoping that you would get it at some point. Oh man. It is so fun. It's good. I like this. That is awesome. I'm gonna okay. <clears throat> do the spoiler sheet. I'm just gonna sheet. hold it for now. There you go. No, I have to do the spoiler sheet. This you gotta is your do it box. right. You gotta do it right. I'm gonna do it right. All right. I'm gonna do it right. Okay. <clears throat> you gotta intro it. You gotta build this up. <clears throat> there you go. Look, loosen it up. The Marvel licensed apparel Iron Man Stark Industries t shirt retails for $24. Okay, the Disney Traditions by Jim Shore, White Woodlands, Innocent Ingen Ingenue, Ingenue. Ingenue Rapunzel, retails for $60. That's well an worth it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And it's huge too, mm -hmm. like that's well worth the money. This could like go in our kids' room. This is. Oh my gosh, yeah, it could. So like for our, like if we have a little- We're not having kids no, right no. now, by the way. <laughs> no, but like we could incorporate those colors. Yeah, that's those so really cute. Nice. I was thinking of doing a Winnie the Pooh, but like that's also this cute. This could be an accent. Could be like piece. a Disney. Yeah, no kids though. No kids yet. I'm not pregnant. No. I'm not gonna I'm not pregnant right now. <laughs> okay, the Disney Parks trading pin, Star Wars Open Edition Millennium Falcon pin, retails for $12.99. There we go. The, you're getting, there you go, you're getting it, baby. I'm getting it. You're getting it. The Disney Parks exclusive limited release Magic Band Star Wars Black Spire Outpost retails for $29.99. <laughs> That's a fancy one. The fancy ones cost more money. Mm -hmm. The Marvel Thor Hammer Funky Chunky Magnet <laughs> Retails for seven ninety nine. That's what the, that's what they <laughs> call me. A chunky no. chunky magnet. <laughs> that's disturbing. Oh, why am I laughing so much about that? That brings your total retail value to one hundred and thirty four dollars and ninety seven cents. Well that was worth a good, it. That was a good value in that box. Now, whenever you fill out your preferences, you can choose uh, basically like more bang for your buck. What what's the? Yes, yeah, so you can choose um, quantity over quality or quality over quantity. I tell technically think you got a... Or surprise me. Or surprise me, yes. I, we, we both have surprise me. Mm -hmm. I think you kind of got a little bit in the middle. You yeah. technically got five items. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. Yeah, you technically got five items. So this might be more of the quantity over quality, whereas sometimes in like my ultimate magic box, if I get like a launch fly bag or something like that, it ends up I only have like three items mm -hmm. or something like that. So just to give you guys an idea, we will of course leave our playlist down below that has all of our unboxings. Garrett's even unboxed some Harry Potter ones. Yeah. And you have a Harry Potter box coming. Ooh. So and it's so exciting. So I'm going to start trying posting a little bit more on Instagram. So follow us on Instagram <laughs> at the Leffersons. Because Tim Typically, it's just me that posts. Yes. Garrett, I'm telling him to go out of his shell and start posting on there. I'm just so busy. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. We're both busy. And if you want to get in on the Bippity Box bandwagon, go ahead and use code The Leffersons for $7 off your first box. It lets yes. them know that you, you can, kind of came from us. Yeah. And uh, if, you, if you decide to go there, comment down below. Let us know because... Yes. We'll, we'll share your As excitement. you can see, even if you are a male and watching yeah. this, you can get like Doodly Star stuff. Wars items and Marvel items. That This might be what a men's box kind yeah. of looks like. And if you want to gift a box to that guy in your life, you know, you can set the preferences for them. Yeah, especially if they're like super into Star Wars and or Harry them, Potter or Marvel because they do boxes just on those themes as well. And let the gals know and they'll make it. Yeah. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite item was or let us know what you got in your Bibbidi Box this month. Or if you're gonna order a Bibbidi Box. And subscribe for more Disney content. We have tons of Disney World vlogs coming out right now. We just got back from the pandemic. We went during the pandemic. Yeah. So we have lots of Disney World vlogs coming out as well. We also do unboxings, pin unboxings, all sorts of Disney related stuff. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye. See you later.